Most of you became addicts at childhood. You didn't have a choice in the matter. Your parents made you drug addicts for a drug called religion. You got hooked on it. And you honestly think you can't function without it. That's right. right. What's really deep about it is through this drug called religion, you are as free as a bird in flight. There's no difference between day and night. You know why? Because you got the victory. In the name of Jesus. All right. Tell me who can stand before me when I call on that great name. How many of you have ever heard those words before? All I have to do is appropriate a drug called Jesus. All I have to do is appropriate a drug called Muhammad. All I have to do is appropriate a drug called Moses or Buddha or Krishna or Quetzalcoatl or Prometheus or Adonis or Horus. All I have to do is appropriate this drug and they rescue me from my reality. Am I making sense, y'all? Yeah. Follow this. It's one thing to lie. And I told y'all, what, a couple of Sundays ago? That the truth is unbelievable? Because to believe a lie has to be. That's right. That's right. Remember I told you that? That's right. It's one thing to lie. It's another thing to know the truth, but spawn even more lies to buy time because so many of the people who are oppressed rightly refuse to lose memory of the lie that got them in the condition they're in. It's deep, y'all. This past week as I was riding to Atlanta, I told several people about it, I need to tell you here about it, but as I was riding to Atlanta, I got a visit. That's what I love about driving by myself long distance, man, because when I ride long distance, I get in the turn the music off, I have an opportunity to think. That's right, that's right. A good long eight hours to just think. And I was riding down, I believe it was 50, 57 or 24 at this point, somewhere there. And I had some visitors to get in the car with me. Okay. Sister, stop framing. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you how, tell you how, to, how this experience took place. I'm riding down the highway. And I had some visitors from the Roman Catholic Church to just come on into my car. I think they were Catholic ancestors. Now, it's, it's hard to actually, I have to use my words for what happens in my spirit and in my mind. I didn't hear nothing audibly because I would have got out of the car <laughs> while I was running. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, but in my mind, in my spirit, this is what I got from this visitation. These words. Why are you angry with us? Why are you so hard on us? Because you know I'm always talking about the Roman Catholic Church. Why are you upset with us? For making up a lie. Y'all practice real good. 
said, what you need to be angry about and who you need to be angry with are your people That's right. for continuing to believe the lie that we made up. It didn't say be angry with them for believing the lie. See, if you've been lied to and you've been misled and you've been deceived, you can't really get angry for, with a person for being misled and deceived. But when the truth speaker, yes, sir. when the teacher of truth comes along mm -hmm. and tells you how you've been lied to, mm -hmm. and then you still insist mm -hmm. on believing the lie, mm -hmm. then I don't need to be angry with the liar. That's right. right. That's right. Am I making sense, Pete? Yes, 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 sir. That's just how that thing came to me. And I said, you know what, y'all? I'm going to ease up off y'all. That's just what I told you. I'm going to ease up off y'all because, you know, being angry with you for lying is like being angry with a dog for barking. Right. Wow. That's what they do. Yes, sir. Even in the biblical text, the words... The Jesus of the Bible is supposedly talking to some Europeans, and he says to them, You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you will do. And then it went on to say, Because he was a liar from the beginning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that deep? Yes, sir. I call it impacted lies. When you tell a lie, then you tell more lies to support the lie that you told. You might have heard me say this before. When you've told so many lies on top of each other over the centuries, that telling the truth about one of your earlier lies one of your foundational lies would unravel all the lies that you've been told or you've been telling, thus exposing you for what you really are. You must never, you can never tell the truth. For your ability to maintain your power is dependent on maintaining the lies that you have told. And that's our predicament, people. We grew up with a bunch of lies. And what's really deep about it is they taught us the lie. Now they're not, they don't even have to teach us anymore. <laughs> we have taken it on and we are self-perpetuating the lies that they gave yes. to us. Yes. Wow. Am I making sense, Charles? Yes. Yes. It's time, family, 